हेलो फ्रेंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द न्यू लेटेस्ट न्यू रिलीजेस ऑफ द साइकिट लर्न ऑफ द लेटेस्ट वर्जन जीरो पॉइंट टू टू सी वी हैव बिन वेटिंग आई जस्ट टेल यू द फर्स्ट थिंग हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इट सो देर इज अ सिंपल वे आई दर यू गो इन द कमांड प्रॉन्ट ऑफ एनाकोंडा इफ यू हैव इंस्टॉल्ड द एनाकोंडा आर इन सिंपल योर विंडोज कमांड प्रॉन्ट आर एन ओ बन तो यू गो इन योर टर्मिनल then you just type pip install space dash dash upgrade circuit learn it will install your circuit learn latest version uh, upgrade it and either you just go and type conda install circuit learn if you want to install it from the jupyter notebook itself just put a little exclamation mark in front of the quotes like this you see so exactly you run it and you will get the Result. Now today, what we are going to see, what we are going to talk about, is the stacking regression. You see, a stacking regression that uh, we have been using since very long, but we have been doing it manually. Uh, but they make a new function about it. Now, see, I just tell you, give a uh, little explanation that how this works, like how uh, this uh, stacking regression works. See. Stick, stacking regression is nothing. Just initially you have been using machine learning algorithms like decision tree, random forest, or any any other. Suppose, have you heard about the voting classifier? It is a it is a it is an algorithm. In this is a function in uh, scikit learn, sklearn learns ensemble algorithm. What it do? Suppose you are using in ensemble algorithm more than more than one algorithm like decision tree, random forest, simultaneously together. Ensembling means uh, making a stronger algorithm out of two or three uh, algorithm commands together. Suppose for classification, I am using decision tree, random forest. So what I am doing and a support vector machine. So apply I applied all the algorithm separately. and i get their predicted values suppose that this is the one predicted value this is the predicted value by random forest this is from support vector machine so what i actually did i just finally got voted out of all the rows and then get the final result final result this is what we could do this is how voting classifier do but stacking classifier is different what in stacking classifier we are doing we are getting prediction by all okay Suppose random forest, decision tree, support vector machine, and by their predicted values are being stacked together. Stacked together means combined or concatenated together to make a new input. Initially, I make prediction by all these algorithms separately, and their results, that means their output, are being concatenated together. Now this is the new input. This is this will work as x. the input values and again the same target value is being predicted with with some another or any of the machine learning classifying algorithm suppose logistic regression support vector machine or anything so what is stacking do by predicting many different machine learning algorithms their predicted values are concatenated together and that is being used as again input and this by this input again i am predicting the target variable this is called stacking regression so this has been introduced initially it was not there so i just show you how in scikit learn we will be able to do that so here you see i imported the uh, uh, some of the libraries uh, for out of the sorry so out of the libraries i imported the load underscore diabetes data set then i imported the some Uh, functions like risc cv linear svr random forest regression and stacking regression i just run it and you see i go for the load underscore diabetes and i took return x y is equal to true and named it as x and y input and output right now i took estimators i took two estimators and make a list and assign it into an object name that is estimator so i just give a name a string name lr and risc cv and linear svr so i use two algorithms as estimators now see i am using this stacking regression now you see how it works first it is asking for estimators so i assign estimators it is my this estimator then comma there is another hyperparameter final underscore estimator 
and here I assigned means finally by using these two I got predicted values those prediction concatenated together to predict the target variable again and now to the final state I am using a random forest regression number of estimated 10 so I just run it I give a name a reg so what I am doing reg dot fit so I am just breaking it into train and test by using the function train test split input output so I am uh, building a model like reg dot fit x train y train and I am just putting dot score getting the score of the value so dot score x test comma y test so just run it one by one so you see I got the value 0.23 this is how I get the values now just inquire a bit more so if you want to use how what are the other parameters of function you can run just run get underscore param you will get all the parameter values that has been used here now red dot predict I put x test give a name predictions predictions just giving 0 colon 5 that means first 5 values red dot score x test y test it give r square so this is the value 1 2 3 so this is how we are using uh, uh, stacking regression so dear friend thank you that's all uh, this is this this video is from dex lab analytics if you want to know more about it you can go to our website dex lab analytics and uh, uh, inquire about it we are very uh, very very we have a quite a, uh, a long experience in giving the trainings of machine learning everything you want to know about it so you can go on their website and enroll for the courses thank you very much